We are at the January transfer window. We're doing well in the league. We're doing well in the Cups. We've got a lot of players to sell or bring in. And this month is going to be absolutely huge. It could all come crumbling down here. Or we could be in the best championship season we've ever had. So only a couple of fixtures missed since the last time we met. The first of which was a 2-0 home win against QBR. Jabari Cox got the opening goal in the 42nd minute. And then Vedran Stamenkovic got the second in the 51st. We then beat Swansea City 2-0 at home. So Gino Guerrero and Jabari Cox with the two goals in this game. And that sees us comfortably lie in top of the championship. 72 points after 29 games. We are now 15 points ahead of Brighton in second place with a game in hand. If we don't get promoted from this position, um, I, I don't know what I'll do. I have no idea. We are getting promoted. We're winning this league. We're getting promoted. I'm hoping to improve our squad. I'm going to be specifically looking for in January only players that I would actually play in the Premier League. And I do have a few that I've approached to sign. I'm going to cancel this deal because I don't want them anymore. Uh, Walter Delonzo from Bayer Leverkusen is available on a free transfer. Um, now he is naturally a right back, but I'm hoping if we can get him in and have six months with him trying to train him as a right wing back, that would do us fantastically well. As you can see, comparing them attributes wise, he's just next level compared to our current best right wing back. He is far, far better. And if we did manage to get him over the line and sign him in this window, um, I think I would be pretty much done with right wing back for next season and that would be absolutely fantastic. Now in terms of the others, I'll show you them should they actually come in. Um, but we've got a lot of games to go through in this January transfer window. We've got West Ham three times, twice obviously at the League Cup semi-final. Absolutely huge. Thankfully we were away from home in the first leg in that home at the back end of the window. We've also got Swansea City in the FA Cup, Brighton, Blackburn and Derby. Brighton is obviously going to be a big game. They're currently sitting in second position. We are at home, so hopefully we can get the win there. Although earlier in the season, they did beat us 2-1 away from home. So at least avoiding defeat so we don't get beat twice by one club in this season will be great. In terms of the transfer budget, we actually have 46 million quid to spend with £200,000 available in the wages. We did sell a couple of these clauses in other deals that had happened in the past, which has mean we could have, I think we raised around £10 million extra, which was absolutely fantastic. And obviously the aim for this window is to raise as much money as possible whilst improving our squad so we've got enough money for our Premier League season. Um, now this is unexpected and the most fee, the most amount of money we will ever receive for one player in this save, I do believe. Neil Leafield has attracted a £61 million bid from Newcastle United. Neil Leafield. Now he's done fantastic for us in the Championship. But we cannot turn that sort of money down. I'm going to try and persuade him to join Newcastle United. And uh, I accept that I'm going to settle, but I need to make the rest of my career. Okay, I'm not going to dictate your career. We are accepting that offer. And pray to God he leaves. £61 million. That would mean... Oh, I've agreed. 19.25 without the completion of the deal. What do you mean? Oh, that's for the previous offer. That's fine. So we'll have an, <laughs> like an extra 45, maybe 50 million quid in the, ba in the transfer balance. We'll have £100 million in our transfer budget. We will have to sign a striker because he is our first choice. But that is absolutely unbelievable. So in the rehearsal for our League Cup semi-final, we beat West Ham in the League 3-1 at home. Stamenkovic, Calero and Frankie Grand with the goals in the game. And if Neil Leifel does decide to leave Newcastle, I might just play this lad for the rest of the season up front. I mean, he's not fantastic by any stretch. Um, he's got a lot of work to do to improve. Um, but... You know, he's getting goals. He's 17. He's a homegrown player. I might play him. Another sale that looks like it might be happening. Bristol City have came in for Riestra, our backup left back, who has been commenting about how he wants to leave the club. So I'm more than happy for him to do that. We've got a good couple of options at left wing back now. So seeing him go for 9.75 million quid is not the end of the world. And we're also making our first signing of the January transfer window, Radomir Stefan Polk. Will join the club for five and a half million pounds. A striker, uh, striker, a goalkeeper, 23 year old German. He is better than Harrison Clayton, and I will try and move Harrison Clayton on during this window. Some of the things you haven't seen off camera is him whinging about a player we saw in the summer. He's been whinging about it all season. He has dropped the concerns now because of how well we're doing in the league, but it plays fresh in my mind that he is a disruptive influence. I had the whole team 
back in the summer come to me and about these concerns. Now, I managed to talk them around and it didn't affect anything. But it just says to me that maybe he's a bit too big for his boots. He is currently wanted. I think it's it's Wolves these days rather than Celtic. I'm going to offer him out for 20 million and see how much we can get from him. He's only worth five and a half. I'll take anything, really. We're getting this boy in. He's good. He's better. And with a bit of potential to grow as well, maybe he might be our Premier League goalkeeper next season. So it looks like we might be moving on a couple of bits of Deadwood. Quinton Swinnon's been at the club. Basically not getting game time on 52k per week. So, I mean, even though we are playing a large sum of these wages still, if he goes to Trabs on Sport or AEK, I'm more than happy to get him moved on. And Spal made a £1.6 million offer for a player whose contracts run out at the end of the season. I'm just going to accept it. I'm happy to get him out of the club. His wages aren't huge. He's only on 7.5k per week, but I've never played him. So, not to worry about that. In our next game in today's episode was a third round FA Cup game against Swansea City. And we've won 2 0. Zach Howes and Stamenkovic with the goals. And it looks like Walter Delonzo will be joining the club. He has accepted our contract offer despite having offers from other clubs. And uh, let's see how much Bayer Leverkusen want us to pay to be able to bring him in now, which is something I definitely want to do. I want to get him in as soon as we can and get him started to try and. Make him a competent right wing back. 1.9 million quid. I'm paying that all single dear. He comes in. Three and a half star, five star player. Becomes automatically our best right wing back. And we will get him training in that position. To hopefully get there in time for the Premier League. But if not, it shouldn't take too long afterwards to be able to get him natural in that role. And there is the most money we have ever received in a single transfer on this series. And I can't believe it's Neil Lee Field, 61 million quid, go on to Newcastle, see you later mate, I will take the money, thank you very, very much, there he is, a 61 million pound man, I mean, he done well for us, he did, Last this season he's got 12 goals in 19 games, 15 goals in 23 games in all competitions, but um, I mean, he is a homegrown player as well, homegrown at club, which a little bit disappointing to lose in the championship with 61 million pound. That gives us now a £90 million transfer budget. Now, obviously, I won't be spending that. I won't be spending pretty much any of it, really. Um, but, oh, here we go. Luke Sanders. I made £61 million. Quid. Why, why wouldn't I accept that? Why are you being unreasonable? There we are. At least he's back down straight away. But there we are, lads. Highest fee we'll probably ever receive in this series. We've missed out on the striker replacement. Oscar Berens was going to be... The replacement for Neil Leafield, but he has agreed a deal with Arsenal instead of us, despite us offering much bigger wages. As you can see, technically he's a fantastic striker. Physically he's not so great and not usually someone I would go for. But the fact he was going on a free, had a lot of big clubs interested, it triggered me to go in for him, but um, it's not going to happen. Danny Anderson's also leaving to Preston for a couple of hundred K. Just nobody, really. So we've just played our first leg in the League Cup semi-final and drew 3-3. With West Ham, we went down to 10 men after the 53rd minute and West Ham really did t took advantage of the extra man and got themselves back. And we were 3-1 up and cruising. Um, disappointing to fall. We were 3-0 up. Never mind 3-1. We're still getting a 3-3 draw going back to the home leg. And there is Quinton Swinnen going for 2.4 million quid. Um, it's mainly his wages that I wanted off the bill rather than the transfer fee. So... More than happy with that deal going through. Another sale, Maximiliano Riestra, or backup left back, has gone to join in Bristol City for £9.75 million. The money just keeps rolling in, although we do have to pay Nottingham Forest a little bit of that. In terms of transfer budget, then we are now up to £100 million, with 234 k available in the wages. And it looks like Harrison Clayton will probably move on to Notts County as well for £4 million. Quid. Not the greatest deal ever, but... Uh, Getting him off the wage bill, having signed a better goalkeeper is fine by me. And there's another sale, Luca Ballerini. His contract was running out at the end of the season. He accepted a contract offer from Perugia. We offered them to buy him now for 700k just to give us some money. Because we're not going to use him. And he has left and uh, joined them. So we've just played second place Brighton in the league. And won 1-0 Zach Howes with the only goal of the game in the 69th minute to further our lead at the top of the championship table. Mixed in with all the positive stuff that's going on, we've just had a disappointing one all a weird draw against Blackburn Rovers in the league. Joseph Bellew had put them in front six minutes in, but Frankie Grant had equalised in the 25th minute, and we couldn't make our dominance count. 
Um, disappointing to drop two points, but not the end of the world. And there is Harrison Clayton off to join Notts County. We're getting a couple of million pounds in, getting them off the wage bill. And as we can see now, 253k and 103 million pounds available in the transfer and wage budget. That's absolutely fantastic. Chris Dubelbis is kicking off about it though. But uh, we'll see what he's got to say. Ah, he's back down. He's a uh, He bottled it. We've just played Derby County in the league and smashed them 4-0. Derby County are aside, challenging for the playoffs. And we are just a step above. Stamenkovic with a brace. Trofinovic with a goal. And Slager with the other. Uh, we are playing really, really well right now. So we've just played Akron in, in the FA Cup uh, fourth round. And we managed to beat them 2-0 with a fully rotated side. We needed to really keep our lads fresh as the next game is the second leg in the League Cup semi against West Ham. I'm just praying, lads. I'm just praying that we win. We get to the final. Hopefully, I didn't even check the other score. It was Norwich and Manchester City, I think. It was Norwich, wasn't it? It was Norwich, and they got beat 2-0 at home in the first leg. So, it's a, <laughs> it's going to be a pretty insurmountable uh, task to get over that for Norwich City. But they might do it. They might not. And uh, if we do get past West Ham, it's likely to be a Manchester City final. And we are through to the League Cup final. Stoke City 3, West Ham 1, a 6-4 aggregate score. Sebastian Calero, Zach Howes and Vedran Stamenkovic with the goals in the first half, giving us the 3-1 win. Let's assume it's Manchester City and be delighted when Norwich have won 3-0. Uh, uh, no, it didn't really happen. Manchester City 6, Norwich City 0. 8-0 on aggregate. Manchester City then will be the opponent's in the League Cup final. <laughs> Why couldn't somebody cause an upset against Man City? I mean, we've been very fortunate in our League Cup run. I'll show you the schedule in terms of the actual uh, teams we've had to face. So we'll be Peterborough, Bournemouth, Scunthorpe, Leicester, Fulham and West Ham. All teams that are below the Premier League. So we've never faced a Premier League side in this competition. So you don't generally get to the final without beating some Premier League sides. So we've been very fortunate. Um, so uh, it's it's just typical that it has to be Man City. We have beaten Manchester City with this very, very tactic. It is a bit different from what we had with West Brom, but it's pretty much the same. And uh, you never know. We might be able to cause an upset and get ourselves... You imagine just playing in the Europa League. It would just be amazing. It would probably end up hampering us in terms of our league form. And we probably wouldn't do as well as if we didn't get it. But it's such a novel idea. Especially in a save like this to be in Europe. Ah, the winner qualifies for the Europa League too. It's not even the main Europa League. I thought it was. <laughs> I'm less excited now. But I still want to get it, so we've got some European football. But uh, yeah, that's that's a really, really disappointing. So we're sharply coming to an end of the January transfer window. Our squad is tiny compared to what it was. I'm not planning on making any new signings, so I think we're going to end the episode here. In terms of the Skybet Championship, then we currently sit top of the pile. 19 points clear from Bristol City and Brighton in second and third. Automatic promotion is almost guaranteed. Not too far away. We've got 13 games left with 19 games ahead. What's that if we win five or six more games? We're promoted automatically. Um, and obviously the Championship title is what we're aiming for now. And I can't imagine us not doing it. Our finances are incredibly healthy. We've got £113 million in the balance. It is predicted to drop to 49 I'm not sure where that's coming from. That cannot possibly be correct. We cannot be losing like basically like £10 million per month from now until the end of the season. That's got to be wrong. Um, so we'll wait. <laughs> I certainly hope it's wrong. I want the majority of this £100 million uh, transfer budget in my budgets for our Premier League campaign. Which is, of course, always the goal. And that £61 million sale of Neil Lealfield will go down in Yo Yo Man history as one of the best bits of business we have ever done. I mean, there's not a chance in hell he is worth £61 million. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.